Hello, this is Data Trader Pro. Uh, Tuesday, May the 3rd, uh, intraday. It's what time is it? It is about, oh, I'm going to click on this, 12 12.30, 12.midday. So I, the reason for this video is I wanted to show you what a trend day tends to look like. Um, and we got a call on our day type indicator at 10.15 Eastern Time, bearish trend day. Um, you'll see that the dollar weighted buying pressure chart tends to really have no pullbacks. It, it'll, it'll start trending down in one direction. You'll see that right off open or trending up on a bullish trend day, but in this case, trending down. Uh, really no pullbacks. Uh, it's the dollar weighted net volume of our own index of uh, key market moving stocks. Um, so you'll see that basically the, the dollar weighted net volume is just, uh, there's net selling uh, all the way. Um, our version of the McClellan intraday uh, is at, you know, at or near lows the entire day. So there's no change in this. Um, another thing to look at is the net volume to see that basically it, it trends in one single direction with little to no pullbacks. Instead of getting this choppy up and down uh, or you know a lot of these moves, a trend day generally on net volume is most visible by you know, it trend in a single direction uh, without any change. Uh, net issues will stay low. Uh, all day on a bearish trend day. So if you see any changes in that, it can be a change in um, the market coming. Um, but until you see a, a major change in the indicators, uh, you stay bearish all day until late afternoon, generally. Um, you can see that everything is getting sold, uh, except natural gas, which is always up on down days for some reason. Uh, but every sector uh, we cover except the US dollar is uh, is down. Uh, breadth, you can see, you know, NASDAQ uh, volume delineator pegged, uh, bearish. Uh, Russell, you know, advanced declines are, you know, the 7 to 1 negative, uh, 6 to 1 on NASDAQ combined, and NICE is uh, negative 5 to 1. Volatility is uh, bullish uh, with the VVIX uh, up 4%. Uh, Contango is still bad, but improving slightly from its 20% range at, at lows. Uh, and all the uh, volatility indexes are up off their recent lows. So uh, they're still relatively low and, and, you know, and in the gray area in a neutral range, but they've come off uh, fairly extreme lows. So uh, that's what a... Um, that's what a trend day looks like, uh, in this case, a bearish trend day. So I just wanted to point that out for our subscribers uh, so you know what to look for. Uh, generally, what will happen is that on a bearish trend day, you should short any pullbacks if there are any. Usually there's one uh, early in the morning, uh, there'll be a pullback, uh, but the indicators will not change. And that's your shorting opportunity, and you can generally hold that most of the day. Uh, that's the case for today, and uh, they'll start covering late afternoon generally. There may be another pullback uh, underway, small pullback, and then uh, trend will continue down. Uh, that's it. Really, the purpose of the video is just to show you what that looks like on indicators, and I hope that helps. All right, we'll uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.